Hey guys, and welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Gemini uh, for the end of your March from the uh, for the end of your March going into April. Uh, we're going to take a look at your over energies regarding love and the person that you're connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we will finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice. Feel free to apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video. Um, share this video. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Um, if this uh, message resonates, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, be careful of scammers on Instagram that's impersonating me, okay? Uh, keep in mind that I would never reach out to you on Instagram for a personal reading or for money. The only time that I am reaching out to anyone is if someone books a pri private personal reading with me and I'm emailing you to confirm payment, date, time, platform being used for the reading. Uh, if you do happen to come across this individual, just report them. I only have two Instagram pages. One is my personal one, which is, a, which is in the description box below, and the other one's my dog, okay? So just keep that in mind. Let's get started, Gemini. What do we have for Gemini here? Over energies for Gemini. What is surrounding Gemini regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for um, the end of March going into April? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Gemini. We have the three of wands here. Could be waiting for someone to come back. Someone could be waiting for you to come back. Could be planning a future here or, or something like that or looking towards the future here let's see page of wands aries leo sag what else do we have here for gemini we have the king of cups and the knight of cups cancer scorpio pisces for both and then we have the ten of cups and the tower I don't know. There's a huge shift regarding your relationship or the current situation that you're in. And I feel like the shift that's happening is really unexpected. So someone here could be with the three of wands looking out at the horizon here, looking for something else or someone else. Okay. Um, but we're going to get some messages just to see what else is going on here. Three of wands. Two of cups. Okay, page of wands and the four of pentacles. Seems like someone here is waiting for someone to come back, maybe. I don't know, I feel like someone here is holding on to someone, hopeful that someone would come back. King of cups. Four of Wands, Knight of Cups, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. You know, I feel like someone here is feeling like things are going really well. Things are going really great, but I feel like there's something happening here that's going to come out of left field. But let's see. Ten of Cups, and the Two of Wands. And then tower and the star. You know, you could be in this energy of maybe receiving your blessing here regarding a relationship or regarding, you know, perhaps a new relationship. But I feel like it's more so a current relationship that you're dealing with here where things are going to completely shift, where things are going to start getting better here. Okay, so I feel like this shift is a, a, a really good shift here. Okay, so maybe someone here, you know, could be kind of like have a wandering eye, but I feel like that's going to change. That's going to change. There's going to be some sort of reset here. All right, with the star card, Aquarius energy. 
Let's see what else we have here. It seems like you're dealing with someone here where you have a very strong connection with this individual. We have the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands here. Um, tell me about the person that uh, Gemini is dealing with here. What are their true feelings and intentions towards Gemini for uh, the end of March going into April? Two of Swords and the Two of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Tower again. Uh, so we have a lot of twos here. Now I don't know if someone here is trying to make a decision on a relationship. Maybe make a decision between you and someone else. But you know it could be a situation with a tower here. The universe might be stepping in to you know, make this huge shift here if no one could decide. But the shift that's happening here could be healing for the both of you guys. It could be a very transformative experience for the both of you guys, okay? We have the Two of Swords and the Two of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Ten of Cups there too. Knight of Pentacles and the Tower. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Aries, Scorpio energy with that Tower. So the Tower is showing up again. And we have the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So I don't know if there's some sort of disappointment here that has happened where someone here needs to decide something. I'm getting an energy where, you know, things are not going so well, but there's an energy of deciding to stay to work things out. And this could be the, 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 the shift that you guys need in order for things to get better here. Um, tell me about the Two of Swords. The Three of Wands again. A lot of the same energies are coming up. Two of Wands. With the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Now we have the King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. So this Queen of Pentacles could be waiting around too. You could be waiting around. There's an energy of waiting here, waiting for something to change, waiting for something to shift, waiting on the decision here to be made. Queen of Pentacles, uh, King uh, Ten of Pentacles, and a Two of Pentacles. Lots of twos here. There's a big decision that someone here has to make, or both of you guys have to make. Because I feel like this Queen of Pentacles feels like they're wasting their time on this relationship. Seven of Pentacles and a Nine of Pentacles. Someone here feels like they, they're better off alone. Knight of Pentacles. You know, the Four of Pentacles. But also there's an the energy of holding on and not letting this go. Or not letting the Tower fall. The Tower. Eight of Pentacles. You know, I feel like sometimes you do have to let that Tower fall in order for things to get better. So I feel like in a way, things can get better. That's if you allow this change to happen, or you know, the both of you guys allow this change to happen. This is interesting because I feel like someone here is unaware that there is a problem, but for someone here, there is a problem. Yeah, because someone here feels like the, the relationship is not going anywhere, okay? The thing is, I feel like you guys have a strong and, and amazing connection, but you know, I'm not quite sure why this Queen of Pentacles is feeling this way. Yeah, it seems like whoever this is, this person might not have anything to give. Even though this Queen of Pentacles is coming up as a very abundant energy here. Someone here who works really hard for their money. I don't know. You know, with the Two of Swords here, this Queen of Pentacles could be confused. So, let's see. <clears throat> Uh, outcome and advice here for Gemini regarding their love situation for the end of March going into April. What else does um, Gemini need to know regarding their love situation? What else does Gemini need to know? What else does Gemini need to know regarding their love situation here? What else does Gemini need to know? Five of Cups, Three of Cups. 5 plus 3 is 8. The Hangman in the 5 of Swords. Pisces energy. 
And we have the Strength card, Leo Energy. And the Four of Swords. Okay. Five of Cups and the Three of Cups. Hangman and the Five of Swords. I feel like someone here is trying to gain the courage to disconnect from this or walk away or release this. And then we have the Four of Swords and the Strength card, Leo Energy. I feel like you're going to be really pissed off. Whatever the shift happens here, I don't know if the universe is stepping in to make this shift or that your person is trying to make the shift, but I feel like it's going to anger you, okay? Um, lots of fives here, so a lot of changes happening here. A lot of changes happening for you. A lot of changes happening within your connection here. Five of cups and the four of cups. Three, four, five. Three of cups. And the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like someone here, I don't know. I feel like maybe someone's fears are getting in the way. Someone here maybe is controlling because they don't want to let you slip out of their hands or something like that. Tell me about the Hangman. You know, the Two of Swords. Lots of twos here. One, two, three, four. I thought I saw a two of pentacles. Am I crazy? Wait, one, two, three, four. No, I thought I saw the Two of Pentacles. I guess I was wrong. Okay. Uh, the Five of Swords. And yeah, there's the energy of like having one foot in the door, one foot out the door, but I feel like someone here does not want to let something slip out of their hands. Four of Swords. You have the Page of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Strength. And the Eight of Wands. I don't know if there was some sort of disagreement here, but I feel like you could, there could be an energy of, of an apology of, of trying to move forward, okay? Or trying to heal this. We're trying to get to calmer waters here. Hmm. This is an interesting reading. So, Gemini, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.